Hey everyone, it's Dylan here with Segway of Ontario, and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the 9Bot E45 electric kick scooter. Now you might be watching this video because you've seen the E45 online and you're thinking, well, what's the difference between the E45 and the E25? And the E25 and the E25A and the E25A and the E22? What are all these numbers mean? Why are Segway trying to confuse me? Simply put, the numbers represent the range of the device. So in the case of the E45, it gets 45 kilometers of range. The E25 gets 25 kilometers of range and the E22 gets 22 kilometers of range. The E25A is a little bit special because although it gets 25 kilometers of range, the A in this case represents an advanced speed because it can go three kilometers an hour faster than the E25. You also might be wondering how do the E45 and the E25A differ from the ES2 and the ES4? Well, simply put, the E25A and E45 are the new and improved versions of the ES2 and ES4. Okay, great. So now that we've gone over those numbers and we know what those mean, let's break down the E45 and determine if it's the right kick scooter for you. So what other differences exist between the E45 and the E25A? Well, they're actually an identical device. The only difference being that the E45 has an external battery built onto it, extending the range from 25 kilometers to 45 kilometers per charge. But by adding this external battery, you do increase the weight of the device. So if you're looking for a really lightweight scooter, you might be looking at the E25A. It comes in at around 31 pounds. By adding this external battery pack, we've increased the weight to 36 pounds. So that is something to factor in while you're making your decision here. Typically when it comes to electric kick scooters, range and device weight are directly tied. The larger the battery, the heavier the device. Beyond just giving you extended range, the external battery pack also provides you with a little bit more power. The top speed of the E45 clocks in at 30 kilometers an hour versus the E25A, which comes in at 28 kilometers an hour. The synthetic rubber foam filled tires mean that you'll never have to worry about getting a flat tire again. The aluminum alloy frame on the E45 makes it even more durable and sturdy than the ES models of past. The front spring suspension helps absorb all the bumps and cracks of your daily commute. Now, although I don't recommend going over curbs, as you can see right here, we managed to pull it off. Now let's talk about brakes on this device. On the E45, it comes equipped with a thumb brake, which engages a front electric brake and a rear magnetic brake. And in addition to that, you also have a rear friction brake by stomping on the rear fender. Its foldable compact design makes it easy to store at home or at the office. So if you're limited in terms of storage, this is a great option for you. The rear fender on the E45 wraps all the way around the rear tire and you have a rear tail light. So who is the 9Bot E45 for? Well, I like to call it the Goldilocks of electric kick scooters. It falls directly between the 9Bot Max and the 9Bot E25A in terms of range, weight and price. It's probably best suited for casual or beginner riders who don't want to worry too too much about battery life. If you're looking for a really lightweight scooter for zipping around the neighborhood, maybe you're thinking about getting the E25A. But if you don't want to be worrying all the time about your battery life, and if you have enough range to make it home, getting the external battery pack and the E45 is a great option. Having to plan your trips around battery life can be a real drag. Getting the external battery on this will take a lot of that stress off your mind. So that's everything you need to know about the 9Bot E45 electric kick scooter. If after watching this video, you want to learn more about the 9Bot E25A, we made a video last year, which I'll link to right here, which has all the details and all the things you need to know about the 9Bot E25A. If you have any questions about the E45, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, and if you really liked it, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos, tips, and tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. For all of us at Segway of Ontario, we'll see you on the trails.